So when it comes to lungs, lungs act immediately by excreting carbon dioxide whenever there is an excessive acid load inside the system. Kidneys will excrete the endogenous acid, we, know, we will come to it a little later. So normally children produce more acid load when compared to adults, right? So children produce around 2 to 3 milli equivalents per kg per day of H plus which is more than the adults and where from the acid load comes? One is children take a lot of protein from the dietary protein metabolism H plus comes next from the incomplete metabolism of triglycerides and carbohydrates there is an endogenous acid load so triglycerides give rise to acetoacetic acid beta hydroxybutyrate and carbohydrate metabolism will generate lactic acid. Third to loss of bicarbonate whenever each bicarbonate is lost one H plus will be regained inside the system. So these are the three principal sources of H plus okay. So coming to the renal mechanism there are two step process one is reabsorption of the bicarbonate another one is secretion of H plus. So we have talked about this in detail in the nephrology chapter under RTA isn't it. So we will see only the proximal tubular reabsorption of bicarbonate here because most of the bicarbonate will be reabsorbed in the proximal tubule. Around 85% is reabsorbed in the proximal tubule, 15% is reabsorbed in the ascending limb of loop of Henle. So when all the bicarbonate reabsorption, normally it happens, bicarbonate reabsorption happens, 85% happens, but when there is a volume depleted state, we talked about the metabolic alkalosis, we have a presentation on metabolic uh, acidosis and metabolic alkalosis whereas we talked about this chloride responsive metabolic alkalosis where it is a volume depleted state. Whenever there is a volume depletion state, the body will try to regain the bicarbonate. So it will try and reabsorb bicarbonate in the proximal tubule. So first a volume depleted state is a stimuli for reabsorption. Next hypokalemia. So it is just opposite for hyperkalemia. Whenever we have hyperkalemia, there is acidosis. When we have hypokalemia, there is metabolic alkalosis. Increased PCO2. Say in a situation, in a condition like respiratory acidosis. So which is increased PCO2. The kidney will try to conserve, reabsorb bicarbonate as a compensation for respiratory acidosis. Parathyroid hormone will decrease the resorption. So a high parathyroidism or hyperparathyroidism will have acidosis. Hypoparathyroidism will be associated with alkalosis. And acetazolamide is a carbonic anhydrase inhibitor. Again, that will impair bicarbonate reabsorption because it will inhibit this carbonic anhydrase enzyme. Okay. That was about reabsorption of bicarbonate. We just talked about what happens in the proximal tubule because maximum absorption takes place there. Next come to secretion of H+. So H plus is secreted, it is absorbed from the bloodstream through the sodium hydrogen ATPs where H plus comes from the bloodstream into the proximal convoluted cell where a sodium is reabsorbed. So this H plus again through the same sodium hydrogen ATPs is secreted inside the lumen. So coming to the clinical assessment, so now you have a patient, you have done an ABG, you should know what kind of uh, acid base disturbance is present in that patient. So, you have just come across what is a normal pH, 7.35 to 7.45 is normal. Acidemia means pH less than 7.35 is acidemia. Alkalemia means some pH more than 7.45 is alkalemia. Uh, we have patients who have not just a single acid base disorder, but they can have two. A metabolic acidosis plus respiratory alkalosis. So, it, it can be a combination also. A simple acid base disorder means there is a single primary disturbance like a diabetic ketoacidosis who is only having a metabolic acidosis. So say they have only metabolic acidosis then it is a single primary disturbance. Usually we just talked about this also respiratory compensation that is lungs will try to excrete the carbon dioxide. So lung will act as a buffer. It quickly compensates within the first one day that is within the first 24 hours whereas kidneys take around 2 to 4 days for the compensation be it reabsorption of bicarbonate or the excretion of H plus it takes 2 to 4 days for the compensation. A mixed acid based disorder means more than one primary disturbance will be present.